In this one, the report of recommendations for a hospital, we notice that some of the answers begin with should and some don't begin with should. So what's up with that? We'll look at those two in isolation. Recommend that X do Y. Recommend that X should do Y. On the GMAT, this first one is correct, and the second one is considered redundant. In other words, if we're saying recommend, that implicitly says that we think the person should do it. So it's redundant to say recommend that X should do something. So right away, that eliminates A, B, and C. So that's enormously helpful. Now we only have two answer choices. The second consideration is that the three recommendations need to be in parallel. So in all five answer choices, the first one, eliminate, is just in a nice present tense verb. Recommend that they eliminate blah, 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 blah. Now, in the first three that we've already eliminated, it has this passive construction. Services should be consolidated. So that's a passive construction that doesn't reflect the active construction of eliminate. So that's another reason why all three of those are out. So in D, we get eliminate, consolidate, and then we get this participial phrase, space used. And that's problematic. That's not parallel also. So we've eliminated A through D. We, we hope that E is going to work for us here. And sure enough, eliminate, consolidate, use. Three direct parallel verbs. A, answer choice E is free of grammatical error. It is direct and efficient and sleek. It is a wonderful answer choice, the strongest of those here.